key. And if people wanted to two of those came about before, that old adage of good men doing nothing springs to mind here. But good men, all things considered, is a bit of a stretch on this. The US took it upon itself here via its position on the Security Council to stop other nations having a say in this matter, some of whom may already recognise Palestine, which they would know from having their say. They now stand in the way of a two-state solution, not supporting it, because they now have decided it can only come about via negotiation with an apartheid genocidal state that they will support come what may, who oppress the Palestinians and continue to do so. Who else are they implying it is in the gift of to grant this? If they won't recognise Palestinian statehood at the UN, they don't recognise it at all. And that puts us all in the much more dangerous path of a one-state solution, where the US and Israel and other hangers-on like the UK will find themselves increasingly isolated over, and deservedly so. This is a day of absolute shame 